that was the part about the, uh, I think you promised that the greater freedom, uh, okay, I, I, this is just a summary of the degrees of freedom that, uh, that are in the, in the, in the challenge. I'm, I'm no longer talking about communications, this is just the, the broader picture. Um, I think what is, what is uh, the degrees of freedom for the participant are basically in the vehicle platform, the in-car architecture, whatever you do inside the vehicle, as long as it's not the GGU, um, then we're basically happy with it. Uh, you can bring your own sensors, uh, develop your own HMI, uh, and your own control strategy and uh, whatever information you use and uh, aggregate or whatever. It's totally up to you. Um, what is pretty much fixed, <coughs> what we believe is should be fixed, is the communication protocol, um, including what is the, the, the last word, the, the, the mandatory message sets, so the, the set of messages that you must implement in order to be able to, uh, to be in the challenge. Because it's a, again, it's a multi-vendor challenge. Uh, the signals to be communicated, isn't that the same thing? Okay, sorry. Uh, the safety measures, and that's pretty much it. So that's for my part. Any questions? Um, I was just wondering, you you already fixed that IPv6 should be used for networking there. Is this right? Because the, the global opinion is there that IPv6 should not be used for any safety critical uh, systems in uh, in Europe, in the Cardio Communication Consortium, and in the ETSI standardization, as well as in the US and Japan. Um, so they all agreed on not using IPv6 um, for the safety critical part. So that was why I was wondering that we should use it here. I'm not, there's basically, the first thing, I don't fully agree with uh, the, 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 the statement that it should not be used. Um, basically, the IP does not, it does not give you real-time performance, but on the other hand, it doesn't thwart it. It doesn't really impede any real-time performance. For example, in the in IEEE 802.11p in the 1609 standard, it's not allowed to use IP over the control channel, so it's even not possible there. No, so that, that's, that's correct. I, I think uh, if you look at 802.11p, the use of the control channel is, is not is not IP based. But it's, it's not allowed to use it there. But it should so still be it should still be open. Mm. So that's why I'm, I'm not sure if we really should use something which is. It seems to be not in the, to be a, a, um, an approach for standardization. And yeah, in, in, in Europe, the Etsy standard on, on lower layers is ongoing. And we, for example, I'm working in the Carter Car Communication Consortium, and we yeah. made a, a demo last year where we showed vehicle to vehicle communication with our current system yes, standard. But, um, and this would also be an idea to, to use it. I'm not arguing that uh, you can do this without. Uh, about IPv6. Um, I do think that the large scale deployment of ITS systems needs IPv6. You can know, be pretty clear about that. You just need the amount of addresses. You need the install base. I mean, it's, it, it, it's a huge difference to start implementing your communication stack from a proprietary uh, bit of software that you get. When you have your, your, sim your inherent IPv6 stack, which is basically available. That's not really true. In, in because most systems. It's not necessary to make your car part of the internet, just to call it. The uh, GSMs are not part of the internet. So it's, you can describe the whole traffic in no. terms of a parallel internet. It doesn't have to be connected, unless you really fit every car yes, but the I, internet I, node. The thing is, I only hear it does, you do not have to use it. But, but what is the principle of trying, You're trying to follow a path which is not followed by car manufacturers and those people who standardize uh, this kind of equipment. So you have to follow what is already going into the yeah. OEM and car manufacturers. That's going on and that's what you have to follow. I think if you look at the... Um, oh, don't worry. This is If you look at the... Uh, the, the I think has, uh, has pretty much the uh, lower layer stuff and I think only... Only things like geo routing um, is is a, is a mandate for not using IPv6. But anything else, I really think you should use. I mean, you need the routing. Um, 
Yeah, the solution is you just provide that that bit of software that does that as a, as to, to everybody. Like, which, which like, like the geo routing and all that sort of stuff. You have to provide yeah. routing. Yeah, I, I think, I think, yeah. I agree. In fact, yeah. we have, it has to be implemented on everybody's system, yeah. otherwise it's not going to work. Yeah. Um, and the AF11P headers contain all the safety stuff. And, and 11P specifies V6 for vehicle to vehicle, but, but no one's saying that's, like, it's going to happen. It's going to go in cars. So I don't think that's yeah. a problem. No. I, I see this solution is this way. I think I think if you look at uh, th there are some things you you, you should uh, for instance for geo routing you, you essentially do something that is needed by IP so you need to be below IP but that's pretty much the only method that you have to not use IP. But you have to do that because otherwise we won't or we, we have to we have to describe exactly how this has to be done because otherwise yeah. we won't be able to pass the routing messages. Yeah, correct. Right. Um, just. It appears to me that you, that you don't need a, net, you need a network protocol in this case. For the communication needs we have here, you, you could handle everything at NIC layer. Last question. Yes. Um, right. For, for this challenge, you could you could uh, you could do everything at the Mac layer, but why should you? I mean, your, your applications they talk IP. You don't have to talk your Mac protocol. You can't send a map update via a Mac protocol. You can't send your world model via the Mac, via the Mac layer. Like so. yeah, I mean, you'll be limited to, uh, to, to to do the things in this challenge. But you can, yeah. Essentially, you're right. You can just use the Mac layer broadcast. But if you want to build up a world model, then you can't send that through just the Mac, surely. Just that you're on the I think the point you on earlier, we want this to be extensible beyond just this challenge. We don't, exactly. want, to, we don't want to create a set of protocols and, uh, and operating systems that work for this, what's going to happen in whatever it turns out to be in 2011, and then everybody starts over again. I, mean, that's, that's I, think, I think, yeah, I think it's even further than that. I think you, you don't want to build a communications pro protocol stack for just the automotive applications. I think that's also an important issue. Okay. You've got to use the existing infrastructure. I think we have to take this to the uh, to the session. Sorry, because otherwise uh, this is taking too long, long time. Actually, this is a good starting point for maybe the discussion sessions.